think I've ever been out in wind this strong. Turn up the wind, Jenny. We're only sinking a little bit. <laughs> Welcome to Free Range Sailing. Join us as we sail around Australia, visiting its wild places in our 30-foot, 50-year-old sailing boat, Marool. Sailing yacht Marul. Um, I've just found that a uh, yacht sunk on its mooring just south of the Stockton Bridge. We've been parked here. We woke up this morning and just saw it sunk. No, no, no. There's been nobody on the boats, um, and no one, no, no one's in any danger. I just didn't know who else to contact. That's a bit sad. It was a nice looking yacht. That's a. That's going to be a, a rough start to someone's day, but glad it's not our boat. With the wind forecasted to be westerly 15 to 20 knots, we were expecting a fast, smooth sail down the coast from Newcastle to Pittwater. before and it was pretty mellow and then the wind just boosted a lot so we put a reef in and uh, yeah we're getting along a lot faster now we're reefed again <laughs> this time not to slow the boat down but there's a lot of uh, bullets coming off the land there really strong westerly that high's gone out and it's like uh, I know it's throwing out a little bit of a, a ridge down to the bottom <laughs> I don't know whether you call that a drop or not but as the wind circulating around, it's really accelerating. It's you know, the poor old autopilot's getting waves. It's wind gusts. It's having a bit of a hard time of it. Oh. Well, that's a, that's a lot better. Again, I just um, just just twitch that head sail in until it's stabilised. So now it's balanced up with the with the main again. You know how we were sort of losing control and we were getting swept around and then the headsail would catch and we'd come around again. So I just I just tuned it in a bit and now they're really balanced well and the, the, the tiller's only just barely moving. So it feels a lot better. <laughs> it, it was worth just taking a bit of time. We're not going as fast as we possibly could, but we're a lot more comfortable. Mm -hmm. reefed, up, reefed up like this and just detuned a little bit on the head so. What are we, what are we, what speed are we going? Six knots. Oh, cool. I'd rather be comfortable than fast. <laughs> mm, me too. So we're underway. We're a little bit more comfortable now. We're fully reefed, which means we've... Oh, a big wave just crashed into the side of the boat. We're fully reefed, which means we've like fully reduced the sail area. And we're heading towards Pitwater to the Hawkesbury River. Um, we really wanted to pull into Lake Macquarie, but it's not really going to work with time constraints and various things. So 
We're skipping it this time, but yeah, we're gonna head into Pittwater and enjoy some nice harbour there. bullets are big and fast but we've got the sail down we're just cruising on a little sheet of head sail my hands are still shaking holding the camera from getting them to sail down when it's like this you've got to really like look along your um the furling line to the head sail furler because we can make it past here but and i have to a winch just so it's sort of adjustable but any chafe along there could be really dangerous. So if you start seeing chafing, now we've got we to pull it in while we can. It's something that's easily overlooked. Imagine if that line chafed through now and let go. That whole sail would pop out. Bam. Sudden loading on the rig. It'd be all bad. And it would be really hard to curl up again. We'd have to drop it and bundle it. My leg copped a little bit of a graze. Bringing down the mainsail was pretty hectic. <laughs> that that non-skid's like sandpaper, isn't it? The non-skid is. It's it is literally sticky sandpaper, isn't it? Oh yeah. That you bought. Well yeah, yeah. So um, I got a nice graze. It looks like I've fallen down on the bitumen like a little kid. It's not very much of a fetch, but it's still kicking up a, a nice little sea, isn't it? Sloppy is the word for it. It's cloudy now, but with this wind, um, we're getting plenty of power into the batteries, which is good because we spent all of yesterday sorting footage and editing videos, so we really put a, a big strain on the battery. So it's good that we're getting a top up while we sail because it's not very sunny today. So. <laughs> you just got wet. Oh. <laughs> Right down your back too. Oh man, that just felt like someone just threw a bucket of water straight down my back. And the water's 18 degrees. <laughs> oh, I'm getting some nice wind chill now. Oh. That landed on my leg and it's stinging like crazy. <laughs> oh, from the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> from the salt. Uh, put the, uh, <laughs> the splash hatch in because it was water in here. And we've been warned about these westerlies coming off the land and it's pretty good practice for us before we head further south. We've got to deal with the swells as well as we head further south. There's no swell at the moment. Our main thing today is this westerly will turn into a south southwesterly. Yes. So we have to get to where we're going just in the nick of time. Yes. Now all we need is like some big tuna to get <laughs> Oh yeah. Maybe we should bring the line in. No, no, it should be right. Oh. We got we got plenty of sail that we can just reef. Yeah, it's true. We can just trundle along at a couple of knots. This this won't be nothing. She'll be right. saying there's 22 kilometer an hour winds. <laughs>
zip this one out, I think. <sighs> now we've just hit like a really strong gust Troy's out there he's completely soaked I just want to get the wet weather gear on him but it's too hectic out there for me to go out there right now and we're right close to land as well so. anyway we're making way Troy's put like the smallest little bit of head sail out and we're still making way Too bad if I was just in my wet weather gear. Yeah, I know. I just sort of just hang out here with the shoe ones. <laughs> At least the air's hot. That's true. <laughs> it's, it's our weather still here is hot. So what's happening is like in between intervals when I get absolutely soaked, I dry out. You get so, blow dried. <laughs> This weather, it's thrilling, but it's also exhausting and a little bit scary at times. I'm really thankful that Troy's like got his cool <laughs> and is really confident in the boat, and he's just such an awesome captain and skipper. But yeah, it, down here you wouldn't even know it's blowing 50 knots out. <laughs> only did that boat sink last night but we also had a seagull fall in through the front hatch <laughs> through the, the fly screen that we put over the hatch it flew it fell in and landed on our bed and Troy was asleep and he picked it up and threw it out the window and then it pooed all over our bed so I'm beginning to think that the sunk boat and the seagull on our bed maybe that was a bit of an omen <laughs> there was some crazy weather coming today I feel like it's eased a bit baby that's a relief. Uh, back to six knots. Very crusty. I just had to laugh when I saw how happy Troy was once he got his wet weather gear on.
got a fully reefed mainsail up now because the wind's just come just a little bit front of the beam and we are going really fast. I think we're going seven or eight knots. Troy's just reefing because the, the wind's picked up again. We've just been constantly reefing and then letting out the sail and then reefing again. So we're going to start heading in towards the Hawkesbury pit water, but the wind is blowing westerly, so it's going to be on the nose hard and the whole way there. It's going to be a real fight to get in. The highly variable conditions meant that oftentimes we had to be overpowered. Once we reached a point of too much heel on the really strong gusts, we had to let go of the main sheet to prevent cockpit flooding. So we've tacked and we are sailing close hauled into Broken Bay. The gunnels are under the water. I would have given anything for a cutter rig with a nice little jib on an inner force day. What's made it difficult is that it like it goes down to less than 20 knots for a little while, and then it boosts up to 35, goes down a bit, then you get 50 knot crazy gusts, you know, for like a good 10 minutes. <laughs> Losing a few years of my life this today. Aged a few years. Yeah, but you filled up the ones that you still have with doing something worthwhile, so it's alright. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Sink the boat. I'm 
my God! It's a real pain because the wind boosts up. <gasps> but having to come off like this, it slows us down. Going to weather in 50 knots really sucks. <laughs> Start to... I think as we get in that gap, it's going to be worse. I'm going to, I might tack out of it. Mm -hmm. It looks like the shearwater is having way too much fun over there. I don't think I want to join them. While the winds were still strong, at least, we didn't have to put up with waves quite as big once we got inside the mouth of the Hawkesbury River. We've made it into pit water last night it wasn't easy <laughs> so that um those 50 knot gusts they sort of continued into the night so as we were as we were trying to come into pit water of course we had to go west and the wind was straight on the nose so we tacked our way in it was it was pretty difficult got a fair bit of salt spray as you can as you can see on the uh looking at the wet weather gear everything's pretty much the same i think pascal and i are just going to have a bit of a rest today i know i need it and then we're going to have a bit of a look around Thanks for joining us on that wild ride this week and if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Also when subscribing to Free Range Sailing make sure you hit the bell button to stay notified of all our upcoming releases. See you next week! <laughs>